This is an Agilent ESOP EDA demo on using S-probes to check device stability and source and load impedances. The S-probe is a device that allows amplifier designers to determine whether or not desired source and load impedances are being presented to an active device within an amplifier. It will also allow you to determine whether or not the conditions for stability are satisfied. This demo shows how to use the S-probe with ADS. We will show how to insert an S-probe into a schematic, connect it correctly, set up and run a simulation, and view the results. This is an amplifier design in the PCS PAMP example project within ADS. We've designed input and output matching networks for this FET, and now we want to know whether or not the desired impedances are being presented to the gate and to the drain of the FET. We can insert an S-probe pair template from the insert template menu pick. Now we need to move some components out of the way so we can wire it up more easily. After wiring it into the schematic and adding 50 ohm resistors at the input and output, the schematic looks like this. Note that the S probes do not affect the DC biasing and they do not load the circuit at RF either. Before simulating, I've saved the schematic under a different name. And you may want to change the frequency ranges here. The S-probe pair is a sub-circuit that has an S-parameter simulation controller inside it. You don't have to set anything within this sub-circuit. Now let's run a simulation by hitting the simulation icon on the toolbar. The simulation finishes after several seconds and pops up a data display with the simulation results. Let's take a closer look at the results. Gamma 1 is the reflection coefficient presented to the gate of the device. Gamma 2 is the reflection coefficient seen looking into the gate of the device. Let's position the marker on the gamma 1 trace at the center frequency of the amplifier at 1.9 gigahertz. And we'll edit this Z1 desired equation to position the purple dot so we can see how close we are to the desired source impedance. From a separate simulation that's not shown a source pull simulation, the optimal source impedance was found to be 17 plus J times 42 ohms. And you can see that we're very close to the desired source impedance. On the right Smith chart, we've repositioned the marker to 1.9 gigahertz, and we've set the desired load impedance to be the value shown by the dot and we can see that we are generating the desired load impedance. The stability indices, which are shown in this lower left-hand plot, and are computed using these equations, 
indicate that the amplifier should be stable over the entire simulated frequency range. To summarize, an S-probe allows you to cut a circuit and look at the impedances in both directions without loading it. These impedances may be used to determine whether or not the circuit is stable. We have shown how to insert an S-probe into a schematic, connect it correctly, set up and run a simulation, and view the results. Thanks for watching this Agilent ESOP EDA demo.